Hello there, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna be running through a few useful shortcuts in Figma. So the first shortcut, so the first shortcut is a search function in Figma. So I'm gonna press command and question mark, and then we're able to search all the menus, the commands and the plugins. So if I just type in file, as you can see, it brings up, I can create a new design, new FigJam file, find and replace anything that's related to that word so nice and easy okay so shortcut number two creating objects and shapes so we've got our shapes up here and as you can see it does tell you the shortcuts next to them here but a few useful ones are you can press R on the keyboard and that gives us the rectangle you can press L on the keyboard and that gives you the line we can press O for the oval or if you want to call it ellipse and you can press T that gives you the text tool and lastly if I press F on the keyboard that gives us the frame and we can pull out with our mouse and draw a frame also you can press H on the keyboard and it gives you the hand tool and that allows you to click and drag and move around the canvas. Okay, next up is opacity. So if I copy one of these elements here and I just go onto the keyboard and I press one, as you can see, the opacity is set to 10%. If I click two, 20, 30, for three, and so on. So as you're going up the numbers on the keyboard, it's increasing the opacity all the way up to 9 which is 90 and then if you want 100% again you press 0. Okay so the next set of shortcuts are relating to zoom so I'm going to press shift 1 and that zooms to fit. I'm going to press so let's have a look so if I click on an object and press shift 2 that zooms into the object and now if I do shift 0 that brings us out to 100% and then if I use on the keyboard, if I use the plus and minus symbols, that zooms us in and out. So minus for zooming out, plus for zooming in. And then if I hold the Z button on my keyboard, that gives us the option to click with the mouse. And if I press, I think it's option, yeah, option Z and click, that zooms us out. Okay, so on to the next option. So let's get an element here. Okay, so I've selected the element and on the keyboard using the arrows going up. You can't really see it, but if I'm tapping up multiple times, that's just increasing. As you can see up here on the Y axis, it's incrementing by one pixel. If I go right, you see on the X axis, it's going and incrementing by one pixel. Down, again, going down by one pixel and left yeah moving across by one pixel if you want to increment these jumps if you hold shift on your keyboard and then use the arrow keys the jumps are in 10 pixels at a time so 10 pixels down 10 pixels up and so on so it helps you move the objects around the canvas quicker okay so next set of keyboard shortcuts so I'm going to select all these objects here and on the keyboard I'm going to press shift A. What that's done is that's created a frame around these elements and it's created an auto layout here on the right hand side. And then obviously you can adjust the auto layout how you need it. But that's a quick way to apply an auto layout to a set of objects. Also, let me just draw out a few more objects down here. If you don't want to do an auto layout and you just want to group them, Command and G, and as you can see on the layers panel on the left, let's put all those rectangles into a group. Okay, so moving on to the next shortcut, which is the color picker. So I'm going to press I on my keyboard, and as you can see, that then gives me the eyedropper. And in the top right hand corner, you can see it's telling me the hex code. And obviously when I'm hovering over things, what the color is. So if I click on the background, that's 2C, 2C, 2C. So I click on that, that then updates the element here to that color. Okay, so onto the next shortcut. If I select this frame, as you can see, it's got a grid. If I press Control, Shift, and 4, 
that hides the grid. And if I press Control Shift 4 again, that shows the grid. So that's a quick way of hiding and showing your grids. Okay, I'm going to draw out another object. So I've got a rectangle here and I want a duplicate of this object. I'm going to press Command D and that's duplicated that object. Okay, so onto the next shortcut. So we have a frame here and we've got a rectangle inside it and I want to align this. So if I press, so I've clicked onto the element, I'm going to press Option H and that corrects the horizontal position to the center and then I'm going to press option and V and that does the vertical position so now that's centered within that frame okay so hopefully those tips were helpful if you see here there's a question mark in the bottom right hand side of Figma for help and resources click on that and you can also click onto keyboard shortcuts just here and then it opens up a tab at the bottom and then it gives you the essential keyboard shortcuts on how to show things, how to hide them, picking colors, just various quick actions, some of which I've shown you today, but there's a lot more in there. And I would encourage you to go through these options, learn some of them, uh, and this will really help speed up your workflow when you're designing and just make your life a lot easier. So I hope this video was helpful. Like and subscribe, add some comments, and I will see you in the next video.